Okay, so from a subscriber's request, let's do some psychrometric chart example, FE type example, where we want to determine the change in enthalpy between the incoming and supplied air. So here we're looking at an HVAC system and we're specifically told we have 5,000 cubic feet per minute of outdoor air is brought into an HVAC system that handles the air unit. So it's an AHU with an outdoor air intake size of 2 by 3 feet. The air is at 95 degrees Fahrenheit at 40% relative humidity. Then it is cooled down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit and 80% relative humidity. The change in enthalpy between the incoming and supplied air is most nearly what? So we know here that it's an HVAC system and so we have the let's call it the air comes in it comes out so it comes out at a omega value of 80 percent so it's 80 percent relative humidity and at a temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit and it comes in the air from the outdoor comes in at this flow rate but it's going to be outdoor air and specifically it's at 95 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 percent relative humidity so T here is 95 degrees Fahrenheit and omega, our relative humidity, is 40%. So again here we're working with air. And we know here that we can use the psychrometric chart to determine the enthalpy. So what enthalpy when it comes in. So at this point, and we're going to find the enthalpy when it comes out, when it's supplied. So we're going to find H here. I'll call it H1. What's this value? And we're going to find here H2. What's this value? And we're going to use the psychometric chart specifically. So the difference between these is obviously our answer, the change in enthalpy. So we need to find that and we're going to use the psychometric chart. Note here that the chart only apl applies when you have a pressure at pressures of 1 atm. So atmospheric, so we're usually dealing with air, dry air. In this case, it has to be at a pressure of 1 atm. We can use this chart, which is typical for the HVAC systems. So we can use that chart, and it's found in our FE handbook. What we're, what we're going to do is plot the temperature. Note here, this is going to be our dry bulb temperature. These temperatures are going to be our dry bulb temperatures on the chart, and we're going to plot it with respect to the relative humidity values, which are our W that's given. So let's look at the chart in the FE handbook. And I'm going to be at the thermodynamics section, and I believe it's going to be at page 175. So let's do control F, psychrometric. So you can go down. And I'm going to use the chart here. So you have a section here. And this will help you arrive at certain values, I think, if they ask you a different question. But here we're just going to strictly look at the chart. And we're dealing, this is going to be metric units. But we're looking at the English units, right? So using English units, we're going to use this chart. So at the bottom, we know it's going to be the dry bulb temperature, right? This is 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and so on. It increases. Then we know our relative humidity is going to be these lines. So this is 10, this is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So let's plot the initial stage, meaning the incoming air. It's at a temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit and relative humidity of 40%. So let's plot that. All we have to do here is go to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and make a line. And we have to intersect this line, the 40% the forty line here that goes across like that. So we go to 95 I'm going to use my line here. You go to 95, go strictly up until you intersect the 40% line. So the 40% line is this one, right? 
it keeps going so we have to intersect at this point so you intersect somewhere at this point we're intersecting the 40 percent line so after that we can determine the enthalpy at this temperature and at this specific relative humidity of 40 percent we know we're at this point for the enthalpy we can look here so this is 20 25 30 35 40 and it's in btu per pound of dry air so you can go from there i'll use the line again and can start here and go across until you intersect somewhere there so we intersect this so this is 35 this is 36 this is 37 this is going to be 38 this is 39 and this is 40 so we're at 38 38.2.3 sorry 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 this is 39 so we're at around 38.8 so that's going to be our H1. So let's write that down. H1, just use red, H1 is around 38.8 and it's BTU per pound. So we found H1. Now let's find H2. So same procedure, temperature 55 degrees Celsius, the omega or W, the relative humidity is 80%. So we go to our chart, we're looking at 55 degrees Celsius. Again, this is gonna be the dry bulb temperature. So the name is denoted here, the dry bulb temperature, degrees Fahrenheit. We go to 55, 55 is here, and we have to intersect 80%. The 80% line is this, right? 80%, so it's gonna be this line, this line here. So let me use the line. 55 we go up to 80 percent could be somewhere here so we intersected the right line i believe and now we have to go across to the enthalpy right this is the enthalpy 15 20 25 30 and so on so you go across there and we can approximate here PDF Make it froze, but so you can go across and make sure you follow that line and it's somewhere there. So this is twenty, this is twenty one, and this is gonna be twenty one point two this is 21.4 so we're in between these two so this is 21 21.2 21.4 so this is 21.25 no I'm sorry 21.3 this is 21.3 this point so this is going to be our H2 21.3 H2 equals 21.3 BTU per pound so the difference between these is going to be our answer, our change in enthalpy between the incoming and supplied air. So let me do the math here, 38.8 minus 21.3, I got around 17.5. So this is obviously closer to answer D, and these are all out, it's a lot closer to answer D. And you can prob you can probably get a closer answer if you use it on paper instead of using the PDF. But this is how you use the chart, and on your exam you're gonna have to use the PDF. So I doubt you will have answers that are very close to each other. So this is our closest answer, and this is how you use the chart to find the change in enthalpy between the incoming and supplied air. Thank you.